Hi there, welcome to KA Box. Let's test. And in this video, we are going to talk about traversing DOM using jQuery methods. So, traversing is used to find or select HTML elements based on their relation to other elements by traversing the HTML DOM. As you know, that reverse lookup isn't feasible with CSS. So, with jQuery traversing, you can easily move up to the ancestors, down to the descendants, and sideways to the siblings in the tree. And there are quite a few methods that we have to cover and in the interest of time i have already created those so first thing first so we have the first and last but hey hold on in the last video as well we talked about first and last filters and the syntax was the only thing that was different okay so we used this syntax for first and then colon last for last right then why are we working on this first and last? See, the thing is, uh, starting 3.4 jQuery version onwards, these filters are deprecated. All right, that's reason number one. So, not all filters are deprecated, first and last are deprecated. Also, the another reason is when you pass in the CSS selector right within this, then the efficiency is greater, right? So you use CSS selectors in here and then go for these jQuery methods to reduce the collection set. All right, that's uh, the reason why you have to work on first and last methods and not filters. All right, so the first one is first and last. So first and last reduce the set of matched elements to the first or last in the set. Then we have got the equal to method which reduces the set of match element to the one in the specified index. Then we have got even and odd. So reduce the set of match element to the even forward slash odd ones in the set. And since these are all jQuery methods and therefore index starts from zero, all right? So next one is not, not remove the element from the set of matched element. And then the last one is filter and that reduces the set of matched element to those that match the selector or pass the function test so we are going to see all of these quickly all right and we are going to work on these controls so in the copyright section i've got a ul and inside that we have got the allies right as you could see so what we are saying is hey in the div just got this class find all the descendant allies and then find the first one and then they supply the styling all right so let's see that in action so i'm going to pick these three first so what are we saying index start from zero all right so he's going to say first one is going to pick this one last one is going to pick this one and then we are going to say equal two which means that zero one and two so we are saying this this and this so these three should be now styled so you could see that red for first green for equal to and yellow for last all right great now we have odd and even so let's see that in action now so when i run this so now you see the even one i've got this orange so you might be wondering hey this is zero yeah uh, this is one no this is zero then two right and then four and then you have got one and three and accordingly they are styled right javascript indexing starts from zero great so the next one is we are saying hey style all these allies but not the one which has got this attribute right as you could see and then uh, what we are saying is in the filter one we are saying hey uh, uh, style only the ally which has uh, got this attribute okay that's how you're going to see the difference so because of this uh, except the second one all will show the border of purple all right and because of this filter thing the fil the border of this would be white right so you see that's how it works great so the next one in the list is uh, children and find and we have to understand these two together right so children get the children of each element in the set of matched element optionally filter by a selector however it goes only one level down so only the direct children 
okay very important in case of find get the descendant so that's a difference right children versus descendant so find get the descendant of each element in the current set of mash element filtered by a selector jquery object or element right so let's quickly see that in action so we are working on this ul all right of this copyright and then say hey find me all the children so which means that we are saying hey find all the allies right and style them and you see that so these are all style right great uh next one is we are going to uh then say about okay we can optionally pass the selector as well so let's see one one such example so now if you do this and what is that so we are saying hey um we are into this div right and then we are finding the children so what is going to happen in this case so we are here right so this is going to find this particular div all right and inside that there are two divs right so this is going to find this particular div only it is not going to find this row and inside that row you have further uh, two divs all right so let's see that in action so if we do this save it now this one is being selected but if you do now find let's see what will happen so you see um there's a division as well because these are the two columns right which we just saw this one and this one so and and also um, you know uh, it selected this one as well all right and therefore we have a thicker border right that's the difference between uh find and children all right so great next one in the list is next next all and next until so next is get the immediately following sibling right uh, remember that immediately following sibling not preceding so for preceding we use the method priv right so for next we are going to say uh, get the immediately following sibling of each element in the set of matched element if a selector is provided it retrieves the next sibling only if it matches that selector next until get the following sibling of each element up to but not including the element that's very important we are not going to uh, include the element which we are mentioning in the until uh, method as an argument all right and remember this because the concept remains same for parent until and previous until all right so and the next all is get all the following sibling of each element in the set of match element optionally filtered by the selector let's see that in action now so we are going to work on the container all right so this particular div and we are, if we say um, next it is going to only highlight this if i if we say next uh, all then all these divs uh, would be uh, highlighted all right and uh, if we say next until then we have to provide this right so let's see that now um, this this div right but the particular thing also has a sibling footer so when we say next all even the footer should get uh, styled so let's see that in action now so we say this all right and now this is next so only the next one is selected if you say next all all right so next all are selected including this one and now you can filter it out you can say only to the about one all right so let's see where we have this so we have so we have a container right so here's the container right and we are saying that uh, find the elements until this point right so it is going to select home and divider which means that this one and this one only would get selected and rest all would be all right so now you see the others are not styled great so that's a uh, next until now same is same as the concept for previous right uh, it's just that now it is going to work on the preceding uh, siblings so previous get the immediately preceding sibling of each element in the uh, set of matched element if a selector is provided it retrieves the previous sibling only if it matches that selector again you can you know pass in the the arguments as well and then that is going to further uh, filter it down okay previous all uh, again uh, explain the concept pretty much like you know it will go uh, up to um, you know all the all the siblings so let's see that in action so i'm going to say this. okay so we are starting from about now so it is going to select divider home and container okay so okay sorry 
we are working on previous and not previous all so only the previous one would be selected i thought uh, i copied the previous all so if i do the previous all now all, all the previous one all the previous siblings are selected all right and we can also do the previous until so in that case we are going to ignore the uh, the container one which is the container one this one so we are going to exclude this uh, the other two would get selected all right so you could see the other two are being selected okay so the next one in the list is parent parents and parent until so <clears throat> parent get the parent of each element in the current set of matched element optionally filtered by a selector parents get the ancestor of each element in the current set of matched element that's the difference right so parent will find out only the immediate parent but parents will find parent and parent of parents means grandparents right so and parent until you know so we are going to stop once we find that particular parent all right so let's uh, see these as well so we are starting with uh, li in the container means from here all right and then we are going to style uh, the, the parent right so uh, these would get selected so these are your uh, allies right so uh, their parent is ul okay let's see that so this is the ally the parent is this ul all right so the ul would be selected let's see that okay so okay so this one is selected then we have got the uh, parents and if i do the parents now you could see uh, what all is selected so uh, this ul is selected then this div is selected this div has got the parent uh, and this div all right and then it has got this parent container then this dev has got uh, body as the parent then body has got this html as the parent and hence you could see that this whole uh, ancestor tree is being highlighted or styled all right uh, parent until let's see that so now what we are saying is uh, find the direct child footer of body and uh, find the p inside that then find the first p because they are more than one so let's see that so we have this all right and in, inside that we have got this first p so what we are saying is uh, find this first one and then the parent until div dot road means till this point so this and this one not container all right uh, and this is parents until right so we are not going to find uh, select footer and then you know uh, body and then html no so we're going to stop here all right here so if you do this only this one is being selected now we have a similar one uh, like parents which is uh, closest so for each element in the set get the first element that matches the selector uh, by testing the element itself that's the important thing so we are, we are testing the element also right this time in parents we don't do that and then we uh, you know move up and uh, you know uh, through through the ancestors in the DOM tree that's how it works so let's see that what are we doing here we are saying find the footer then the input inside that so this enter email all right and then find the closest form so which is going to be this one all right so now this one should be highlighted okay so if i just save this so this one is highlighted and then the next one is sibling in sibling you can uh, provide the uh, you know the selector as well that's optional uh, previously we have seen previous siblings and following siblings if you want to find you know both previous and uh, you know following then you have to go for um, you know uh, siblings all right not prev and next so siblings will find all of the siblings and let's see that in action so comment this out save it so you could see that we started from home right so our home was this right so now you could see that it has selected the previous as well as the following sibling side and even footer is a sibling right so you can optionally provide in the the selector and then if i say footer so this is only going to select the footer side, right so that's about uh, jquery methods to traverse dom Thank you so much.